Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Okay, looks like there's a new door opening or those options. <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me or you need to be searching for other options or this could be you searching for other options now okay be careful though if you're dating okay if this is a situation where like you have multiple options and you're, you're trying to think of which option to choose it's like which door am i going to pick door number one door number two door number three one of those doors maybe more than one of those doors is deceitful okay <clears throat> All right, because we have here, if you can see this, you see how there's multiple doors here? You can choose one option, but this person is like contemplating and thinking, okay? Now this could be you deceiving yourself or ignoring some red flags or whatever it is, right? I'm, this could have to do with the Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, all right? Somebody who wants to man holding a coin so this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy okay there it looks like there is an option I'm seeing two things okay either there's an op there's more than one option for sure okay this option there's an option here where somebody has their heart chakra open this is somebody who wants to offer some form of like stability this is somebody who wants to offer love this is somebody who has an open an open chakra they're able to provide a balanced approach a bring up it's going to be a balanced connection with this person yin and yang okay we have the numbers 43 the numbers 35 the number 24 and 25 so it's like okay you're gonna have this option to decide or you're gonna be confused about which decision you want to make here because this person is contemplating and on the other side of that contemplation is deceit Okay, so there's somebody in your energy who's not the best option. And you're thinking about which one do I want to choose. Yeah, man holding the coin here. So you got somebody who's deceitful and you got somebody who is not deceitful. Plenty of options. So, let's see here. Let's pull some more cards. Show me what else here for the collective. How y'all doing today? Mm-mm. So, yeah, see, this is somebody who, somebody here, there's an older option, like a, a, a energy from the past, somebody you know that you ended it with, okay? You separated from this, from this connection. You, you're doing, in the process of doing some healing right now. But somebody wants to talk. Coffee cup conversation. Feeling uplifted friendship. So somebody wants to have a friendly conversation. This could be a twin flame. That's on the top of the deck. I'm just looking down and seeing that. We have, yeah. The, mm. So we have taking a chance, a risk, being strategic options, not showing your hand and gambling. This is somebody who could, like I said, is trying to hide some wool over your eye or something here, or is not being honest with you. This person, okay, you might have another energy around you who, uh, you could have like a secret admirer around you right now, and you might not even know it, or there's one coming towards you. Like I said, you're going to have options. One of the options is from the past, one of the options is, in it, you know, there's something deceitful about it. Yeah, not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, jealousy, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, ego. So somebody, that's that person from the past that's thinking about you, wants to talk to you. Show me more here, please. Mm. Mm, okay. Show me more here. Yeah, the past person that wants to talk wants to offer a stability and decision, but it's like, you'll have a decision to make. This is somebody who regrets what they did in the past or maybe that they were deceitful to you in the past and they want to talk. They want to talk.
Yeah, if somebody's in deep regret and they wish things could be different here. Something's going on with somebody's finances here, okay? Finances could have been a, ch a challenge for somebody here, but I feel like this is somebody you set boundaries with. You know, somebody you're not talking to. And balance. One person was giving too much in the situation, okay? Now, seems like the past person's energy is coming through strong here. You got somebody else. I don't know who this new person is, but... Mmm, they're having regrets thinking about the past. See, you know. Show me more here. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, grief. Grief. Bottom of the deck, there's that balance again. So somebody is like, this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is literally like, there was an imbalance in the connection. Somebody was not giving, somebody was giving more, not getting what they deserved. Okay, somebody wants the reconciliation. Mm. And they're definitely in their head and overthinking of, or stressed out about it, okay? Overanalyzing the situation, overanalyzing what they did, or you know, or shoot the lack they gave, like what they didn't give that they should have given. Tell me more. Uh, <laughs> somebody says, "You don't. I don't think you want this played out. I don't think you want this." Somebody is. There's some gossip happening here in the background too. Mm. Yeah, you're moving on, like I said. You don't want them anyway. You don't want them. But again, something to do with a camera, okay? Or memories. Somebody's going through photos, text messages, talking about you to other people. There are some conversations happening in the background here. Screenshots just wanted to pop out. So it's like somebody's looking for you or looking you up or like, mm, trying to get evidence or trying to find out information on you. Be careful with that. Cop blocking. Okay, I don't know what this cop blocking is. Yeah, somebody's on, on social media trying to get information on you okay somebody's ego is hurt too her ego ego getting in the way of the relationship so somebody's ego got in the way of this okay that could have been what the block was between the two of you we did have um not enough here lack of confidence or fear ego or jealousy or self-sabotage so this person basically sabotaged this whole thing because their ego because of their ego the ego was too big. The ego, the ego got in the way of the two of y'all. You know? The highest person. Too busy winning. Oh, okay. You are you are unbothered. Okay? They may see this. You, 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 you being unbothered. Okay? Seriously. Like, you're too busy winning. You really don't care. You're moved on. You're like, thank you, next. Let's move on. Okay? Somebody here is gossiping in the background, asking about you or talking about you, looking you up on social media or, you know, taking screenshots or something here. Mm. Show me more. Oh, okay. Cyberbully. So somebody may try to come online or come on your page and talk trash, okay? Or somebody has something to say about you. Mm. Love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming about you. Yeah, you, mm. I feel like there's a, I don't know, either this past person is the one or this past person has a third party, karmic third party, always partying. So somebody is like trying to get over you by just like partying, hanging out, maybe drinking too much. Yeah, y'all have a spirit. Y'all have somebody who's hating on your light. Let's just... They're paying attention to what you're doing. 
and they hating on you. <clears throat> That's what this gossip is. So your name is always in somebody's mouth. And as soon as I said your name is always in somebody's mouth, look what came out. Mm. This said the card says acting cold. You definitely block this person, and this person's haunted by memories they have with you. Okay, thinking about you a whole lot. Somebody created some fake social media accounts. They're watching you, block, stalking you. Ugh. Yeah. Let's pull some tarot and see what else here. Show me who this person is that's watching the collective that created a fake account. Let's see who that is. Show me this person who's watching the collective that created a fake account. Who is this hater? Okay. Somebody could be a Pisces here, a high priestess. So somebody could be getting tarot card readings on you, or they could, let's see, show me this person watching. This could be somebody that does black magic. Show me about this person, or they'll, they could be watching you. Show me more about this person. So this person's been watching you for a few weeks now. They could be an Aquarius or an Aries, the Fool card. Or Leo. Show me more about this person. Yeah, this person's watching you do better, look better. Queen of Coins in reverse. This person could be a Taurus. Okay. Virgo or a Capricorn. Yeah. This person's watching you. Um, collective. <laughs> so they're upset at the choices that are the situation that they're in right now. <laughs> That's funny. They're watching you be single, live your best life. Look great. They're hating. You're unbothered and have moved on. You're in this person's energy. This person cares about you like so much to the point where they got to create a whole nother account. Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So somebody's undecided and going back and forth about whether or not they want to offer something to you, Collective. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's going back and forth about whether or not they want to make an offer. Of commitment. Yeah. Three of Swords. Somebody's heartbroken. So you know who this energy is. Somebody from the past. It, it, it could be a Leo. King of Wands. So this King of Wands is like heartbroken that they can't bring this. They want to bring it. To, they they want to bring this offer of stability towards you or this commitment towards you. They're sitting and thinking about how they put you in this Three of Swords energy and how they want to bring. They are. They really are. Mm -hmm. They're sitting and waiting and trying to think about how they can now they bring back balance towards something and invest in something. Seven of Pentacles. Show me more about this King of Wands. Yeah, they betrayed you. Ten of Swords. Somebody feels betrayed here. There was an ending, like we said from the beginning. Show me more about this King of Wands. Six of Cups in reverse. They're not happy about it. That's that, you know, Six of Cups in reverse soulmate energy here. They're not happy about it. Think about the past. Think about the memories. You know, that's definitely, you know, scorn, maybe hurtful energy here. Heartbreak for sure. All right, the emperor. So this person could be an Aries. The emperor is somebody who has obligations. This is somebody who may like own a business. This is someone who, who loves control. This, you know, we, we did see fear and ego earlier, okay? Or a strong ego. This is the person that could be watching you if it's not a third party. Oof, this emperor's not happy. That's the one who's thinking back. Reminiscing. 
Reminisce on the love we had. Okay, Ten of Cups. You made this person happy. Joy. Peace. Yeah, happy. Look at what came out. Leo energy. You know, hmm. what does this emperor want? What does this emperor want? Somebody gonna have kids here too. This emperor wants love. King of Cups. Love, emotion. What does this emperor want? They just wanna love you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. What is this what does this King of Cups want? What does this emperor want? A reunion. Maybe just to be your friend. Hang out. What what does this emperor want? Yeah. For some of y'all, <clears throat> this person really wishes they could talk to you right now. Nine of Swords energy with the Page of Wands. This person really wants to reach out to you. High Priestess, they want to give you some information. Mm. All right, let's see what else here. Yeah, that's that energy of you meditating and contemplating that came out. Doing some, somebody is not doing shadow work. You're doing shadow work. Somebody's holding back from doing some shadow work right now. A spirit is saying, wait, now is not the time. You need to continue to focus on your inner child and your self-worth and your healing. Or this could be what you're choosing to do now. I strongly feel like this other person needs to, from the past, needs to be doing the same thing. Because something about divine timing is just not, now is not the time. And there is somebody, a jealous energy watching you. This keeps coming up. So just be mindful there's a jealous energy watching you. Watching the Divine Feminine, okay? Yeah. New experiences. I think this is you kind of just minding your own business. Doing your own thing. On social media. You're doing good. You're not really worried about it, okay? Hmm. Divine time and just fell on the floor again. Celebration, good karma. You got good karma coming towards you, including a new connection that's going to involve a higher level of commitment, okay? But again, because remember we saw door to options or whatever uh, earlier. Yeah, secret admirer told you. Y'all have a secret admirer. A new person and an old person. This key energy keeps coming up for y'all. So, it, spirit keeps wanting to talk about this for a reason, by the way. Sorry, this camera. Spirit keeps wanting to talk about this. Y'all have... You're like kind of taking a break during your own thing, right? Can you see this? Maybe traveling, just doing certain different things. You're holding back from this other person that from the past looks like, okay, trust your intuition. Use your intuition to, to know what door to choose because I feel like to some degree you're going to know what's the deceit, who's the deceitful person and who's this man holding the coin with this chakra that's going to provide this beautiful, balanced connection with you. It's a, it's a healing love, it, but spirit keeps saying, be patient, be patient. You may not see this coming, goddess of the moon, and then boom. You don't see this coming, it's hidden from you, and then look what's next, door to romance. Door to romance. Yeah. But remember, we saw multiple doors, right? Here. <laughs> You're going to have to choose wisely. There's one more than one door. Which door are you going to choose? I feel like there's some drama associated with a past person. Be mindful of that. There's somebody jealous in your energy. They could be jealous when you move on. Maybe this is already in the process of happening. Yeah, here's that door. Door card, like I was telling you. Right. 
the J all these doors you're gonna have to pick and choose. Yeah. But the door to romance, <clears throat> there are gonna be multiple doors for you to pick. But which is which is the right one? You know? Yep. That's your reading, you guys. I love you.